One minute behind mine. He skipped over that minute to instantly arrive at this moment in time. Come here. I'll show you how it works. First, you turn the time circuits on. <laughs> this readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This one tells you where you were. You input your destination time on this keypad. Say you want to see the sign of the Declaration of Independence. Or witness the birth of Christ. Here's a red letter date in the history of science, November 5th, 1950. Yes, of course, November 5th, 1955. Why, I don't get what happened. <laughs> that was the day I invented time travel. I remember it vividly. I was standing on the edge of my toilet, hanging a clock, the porcelain was wet on the edge of the sink, and when I came to, I had a revelation, a vision, a picture in my head, a picture of this. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Flux capacitor? It's taken me almost 30 years of my entire family fortune to realize the vision of that day. My God, has it been that long? Things have certainly changed around here. I remember when this was all farmland as far as the eye could see. Old man Peabody owned all of this. He had this crazy idea about bleeding pine trees.